Well, you know, it's a sure sign of spring is on its way when you start talking about auto racing in Pennsylvania. But today we're going to talk about more than just cars going fast and turning left. We're going to be talking about jobs, economic impact, and putting Pennsylvania on the map nationally and internationally. As president and CEO of Pocono Raceway, I'm, I'm thrilled to stand here uh, in, the, in the rotunda of our beautiful Capitol building and, and share some great news with our partners here in Pennsylvania. Pocono Raceway has been operating as our family business since the 1960s, with IndyCar starting in 1971 and NASCAR beginning in 1974. Both of those can tell you that you know, a lot has changed in the years uh, from what the marketplace is and what, and what fans are looking for at each race. Fortunately, uh, Pocono Raceway has been strategically partnering with the Commonwealth to ensure that our asset in Long Pine is maximized as much as possible. And I am proud today to stand here and announce that in 2013, Pocono Raceway generated over $257.5 million and created 2,752 jobs for the Commonwealth. Our facility generated $15 million in state tax revenue and put another $15 million in the local economy. These numbers reflect our acknowledgement of what Pocono Raceway means to tourism in, in, in the Commonwealth. Over 55% of our fans come from out of the state, 49 states, <coughs> excuse me, 49 states total, some coming from other continents like Australia and Europe, and while visiting for three to five days, they camp, fish, shop, gamble, dine, and enjoy all that Northeast PA has to offer. I'd like to thank Governor Corbett and the PA legislature for taking steps to ensure that not only Pocono Raceway, but Pennsylvania in general is a great place to visit. They're making investments in infrastructure and providing opportunities for our facility for, to flourish. Across Pennsylvania, though, as Brandon so uh, well noted, uh, the tourism, tourism industry continues to expand and to be a major creator of jobs here in the Commonwealth, supporting more than 470,000 direct and indirect jobs. With each one of those jobs, a family is being supported and a prosperous future becomes a, a possibility. As all of you heard, the economic impact report leaves no doubt that Pocono Raceway is sustaining families fueling our tourism industry, and growing the economy of northeastern Pennsylvania, which really has been developing over the last few years, a growing and stronger tourism industry. It's creating jobs, it's supporting businesses, and is lifting up the working families of northeastern Pennsylvania. It plays an important role in Pennsylvania's growing tourism industry, as I said, which now tops $40 billion of annual economic impact. That's a legacy of the great raceway. And to celebrate that legacy, I brought along with me a greeting thanking the raceway for its contributions to northeastern Pennsylvania, which I'm going to present to Brandon right now. Brandon, this is uh, from us. And it just came out of there. It's our greeting. Thank you very much. And I know you will display that somewhere. Thank you, sir. Okay. Thank you. With the, with the vision that Brandon and his management team have of Pocono Raceway, I have no doubt that Northeastern Pennsylvania will continue to feel the impacts of NASCAR for years to come. Pocono Raceway provides that economic impact that is the equivalent of hosting the Super Bowl in Pennsylvania every year. Now, you know how people compete for the Super Bowl, and they just had one not too far from the raceway. Uh, think about that. Every year we have that equivalent. We do have some projects, though, we're going to try to help the racing public uh, and the tourism public get to the location a little bit better. And that's the widening of Route 115 from Route 903 to the Pocono Raceway grounds and Route 903 to Interstate 81, the widening of that, so you'll be able to get those cars in and out a little bit because there's quite a bit of traffic there. Uh, we're, we're here to thank you for what the, the Mattioli and the Igdalski families have done for uh, community and economic development, not just in our districts, but in all over Pennsylvania. Just two key lines from the uh, congratulatory citation. Uh, whereas Pocono Raceway is being honored for its positive economic impact in this Commonwealth, uh, therefore the Senate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania congratulates Pocono Racetrack upon its richly deserved recognition and extends warmest wishes for a future replete with ever-increasing success and service to the community. We know the positive impact this facility has on our region. And I think I can summarize it best by saying the goal of every driver at Pocono is to make it to Victory Lane. But in Pocono, Pocono's providing Pennsylvania direct access economically to Victory Lane. And for that, Brandon, we thank you for all that you do for Northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, the 40 years of NASCAR racing at your Speedway, uh, it's been fantastic for our sport. 
and for uh, NASCAR race fans all across the country and all across the world. Uh, from Richard Petty, who won the first race there, to Jeff Gordon, to Jimmy Johnson. Uh, there's been fantastic racing at that facility. But as noted, it's also benefited the state economically. And in those 40 years, we've generated more than, in excess of uh, several billion dollars in economic benefit uh, for the state of Pennsylvania and for the, the region. I've heard more than once from race fans across the country uh, that uh, coming to uh, Pocono Raceway is a bucket list item for, for NASCAR fans. Pocono is now uh, the third leg of our Triple Crown, the Fuzzies Triple Crown, if I can give it a name. It means that the winner of the uh, Indianapolis 500 will come to Pocono and compete for the second time to try to earn a special prize, a million dollar prize and a special cup, uh, making that race very significant in the three race uh, Triple Crown uh, for this year. We have a strong intent to continue to, to back Pocono in our efforts. Uh, Pocono gives us access to some key markets, obviously the state of Pennsylvania, but it's also our closest race to New York and Philadelphia, uh, key DMAs that we want to be represented in. All right, everybody got one finger in the air. And on three, you got to go woo. Ready? One, two, three. Woo!